In this video, I am going to show you how to set up testing sessions for MAP. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your dashboard, and you're going to want to find your NWEA MAP Growth Testing app. It may or may not ask you to log in. Once you've gotten into NWEA, we're going to come over here to the left and we're going to click on Manage Test Sessions. From here, I'm going to click on Find Students to Test. Now I'm going to fill in this information so it will find my specific classes. So I'm going to find Crimmel. The grade I teach, or the grade of my quest class, and then here I'm going to find my name. And then on classes, I'm going to choose quest. Now I will click search. And now it has found all of the students in my quest class. I'm going to click add students. And then now down here at the bottom, here's my quest class and they are ready to test. The first thing that I want to do though is I want to save this test session and I want to give it a name. The name I would give it is something that I would be easily able to identify unless Ms. Langner gives you a specific naming scheme. So I would do something like beginning of year underscore math underscore and then my name, my last name. I'm going to click save and exit. Now it takes me back to this screen and I click show and I can see here is my testing session. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to assign a test to all of my students. So this testing session I labeled as math. So I'm going to click here to select all of my students and then I'm going to click assign test. Here I'm going to find the test that my students are taking and select it. Math is a little different because if you have algebra students, you're going to want to choose that. Um, otherwise, you would choose math 6 plus, and then I'm going to choose assign. So now all of my students have been assigned the test. Now I'm going to enter accommodations. I'm going to uncheck all of my students, and I'm going to check just my students with accommodations. So you could do this one of two ways. You could go student by student and enter in their accommodations one by one, or you could kind of do a batch assignment. So if you know that students one, three, and five get the same accommodations, then I could select those students and assign accommodations. If this student gets text-to-speech, here I'm going to select the items that would be read aloud. So if it's answer choices, reading passages, directions, and questions, I would check them all. The ones that say non-embedded designated features, you do not have to check because those are provided by the teacher. Another thing that you do not need to check is the ones that say human reader and human signer. That's not something that we need to mark. Again, these are non-embedded accommodations. Um, so these are things that the teacher would provide. Once I've checked all of the accommodations that the student has, I'm going to click Assign. You will know that it has been successful 
If you look over here, the far right, where it says accommodations, you can see that it says yes for this student and no for this student and so on. Once I have assigned those accommodations, I am going to come down here and I'm going to click Save Session once again. It will automatically put your testing session name back in there and I'm going to click Save and Exit. At this point, my test session is ready to go. The next thing I would do then is go set up my next testing session. So once again, find students to test, fill in the information, I'm going to add my students. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say save session. And this one I am going to call science. So I know the difference between my two testing sessions. Save and exit. Once again, when I click show, now you will see that I have two testing sessions. I will again follow those directions for adding accommodations for the science test. I'm going to click Edit Session. Remember, the first thing you have to do is assign the test. It will not allow you to add accommodations if you have not assigned a test. Test has been assigned. Now I'm going to assign accommodations. I see that my accommodations have been signed. I am going to now save it again. Save and exit. Then I would set up my last and follow those same directions.